Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I am Zaystars, and we are playing Reforged Galaxy. The name of the game today is to go hit up that UCH wreckage. Now I know because, you know, I just know things. <laughs> that there is going to be a small hover vessel that requires our actions. So we are going to take a couple of a generator and a fuel tank and we are going to go pick up said vehicle. Now let's double check. Okay, you're out. You're done. There's just this little bit of this and a little bit of that in there. I've got some biofuel. Let's take, take a little more. I don't plan on cutting any trees down or anything like that with it, but good to have that stuff. Uh, I don't think there's any need to have the ship on or the base on. Xerox attack isn't for several days, so let's just shut everything off. Alright, so we're going to head down to this whoa, this thing here. And Oh, I should have had it make up longer while I was oh well. It'll be all good. This is uh, really kind of crappy terrain. <laughs> Silicon we are very low on, so if I see a silicon, that's cobalt. If I see anything crazy like silicon or cobalt, I'm going to stop for it. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh-huh. It's nighttime, isn't it? It's very nighttime. Okay, we got that. Well, let's go pick this up. Okay. Alright, let's do this thing. Keep on moving, baby. Keep on moving. Alright, let's get over to this place. Let's see, that's copper. There's a spider. <laughs> no, we're not stopping. We're not stopping while driving through the swamp at night. That's just not gonna happen. We're just gonna keep moving. The spiders and the alien warriors and assassins and all that crap can just suck it. We need your shays, niz nizzle. Oh, you know what this is gonna suck? When I start getting close, if there's any drones or anything like that. Okay, I don't think there's anything near me right now. Okay, I think we're good. Let's put the blonger in my in splot to blop blop blong. That's the wreckage. Oh yeah, there's totally a couple of drones there. All right. Oh, did I bring a tent? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna need that for the near future, and we're not gonna need that. All right. All right. We might have to dig a hole and fight out of said hole. Along, we might just have to do that. All right, what do we have nearby? Not much. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig a hole. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see. Are they coming? I'm gonna put this tent up. Come on, there we go. And so I think, ooh, yep, it's the Heidelberg. I think what we're going to do is we're going to dig this hole. And then I'm going to go, ah! Really? <sighs> Just as a spot to run to if I need it, if I need it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Minigun drone. There's the rocket drone. Alright. Come on, rocket drone. Where are you? I can't see your face. Oh, you're a big one. There's its eye. Ooh, shoot a honey iced tea. Oh, it shoots down. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're just gonna have to... Uh-huh. 
so they shoot down now. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Alright, where'd that other one go? Hey, buddy! Gun is point yeah, they do shoot straight down now. Holy crap, that sniper rifle must have done more damage than I thought. Got him. Excellent. Let's go grab my tent. God, there are so many oh I just love picking up goodies off the ground. It's so hard not to. Silicon is the big one. Okay, got... Look at all this plant protein. Like, I'm going to have bandages for days. Oh, I just turned the base off, and I've got the refrigerator full of food. Okay, got my tent. Let's get to this wreckage. See? Klepto. Klepto. Where's my bike? Come on, there we go. Vroom. Now if I see silicon, I'm gonna stop, but anything short of that. And this tree. Nope, oh, hey big guy. Nah, I'm good. Alright, you see oh here we go. Ship hit the ground hard enough to split in half. Yeah, probably nobody here. What was that? That was weird. Yes, you download, Ida. You you do that. Mechanical failure, huh? High temperature plasma explosive detonations. Okay. Look at all this. Whoop! Are you sure the Heidelberg was shut down? Could it have been friendly fire, perhaps a munition magazine explode on re entry? There must be a record or logs or something that explains this. Sure! Uh, direction of the blast pattern of the melted steel in case it was struck in the exterior by plasma. Detected radioactive traces of the same plasma on several other wreckage sites in the area as well. Son of a bitch. Concluded that structures near the poles are in all likelihood weapon emplacements, communication stations, military facilities. There are many transmissions coming from their locations. Okay. Okay. There's nothing you can do. You are alone, unarmed, blah, blah, blah. Best thing you can do is continue your search of the wreckage in hopes that you are not the only one left. Uh huh. Not saying we forgive them, it's just impractical to attack. I'm glad to agree with my assessments, Commander, as you are currently the only remaining UCH officer, but I do need to assure you live, and I would have to shut down your suit's motor function to prevent you from killing yourself. <laughs> uh, my humor parameter is currently 100%. Alright, well that was very strange banter. Alright. Uh, it wants me to locate a weak signal. That's a pretty cool effect over there. Oh, uh, mark location. Yes, you have. Alright, so we got some thrusters here. That'll be good. Okay. Oh, you succeed in forcing open the container from which the, US, the EM signal is emitting. Uh, as soon as you break the seal, a horrible smell meets your nose. Ugh human body that's not good biometrics match Stephen P or sergeant Pallant, first class chief engineer ah oh. electromagnetic signal appears to be coming from something inside the container sorry about this buddy search the container okay climbed in here to protect him smell self he says smart idea the container is completely sealed in line with shock absorbent foam if only the container had landed upside down with the ship on top of it <laughs> Uh, okay. Search his pockets. Looks like there's a credit chit. Take the money. Search his body. Okay, his PDA. Now that the device is no longer inside the shield container, I can remotely access it. Well, let's see what happened. Received the personal log files and messages from Sergeant Pallant's PDA. I will run analysis and forward the decrypted logs to your PDF. You'll be able to access them through the PDF logs or via the mission tab. Okay. Alright. 
close and relock the cargo container. Uh, okay, okay. Whoop. We got a $50 money card. We are currently 2.698 million light years from Earth. That is pretty far. Detecting a faint energy signal further forward on the ship. Is that a sniper rifle? Man. I didn't have to make one. I just had to come here. Let's see. What else is in here? That's the one I just opened. What else is in here? There's got to be more booty. No? Hmm. Oh, I see a container. Jesus, what is all that? Ah! You open the door to the cargo container to reveal nothing. Scrap metal, structural plastic. Ain't electronic signal coming from inside that container. You're unlikely to, to uncover another dead body. I'll be damned. There's a logistics management unit under the trunk. I... Junk. I doubt this will be of any use to me. These are only used to record and manage cargo manifests. Okay. Still a bus, just an LMU in sleep mode. Just LMUs, transfer records, access logs and user notes. There's usually more information on one of these devices than most people realize. Okay. Uh, computer stuff. Okay, confirm that there's additional data in the device's logs. We'd like to read the files. Sure, let's read them. Okay, Captain Brenner, most of the flight crew were just killed. A rocket or something hit the bow and took off half the bridge. I'm lucky it wasn't me. Thanks to completely justified criticism of the lieutenant ship handling, I was ordered off the bridge to prep the escape pods. Normally I'd call that karma, but I guess not in this case, since I'm standing in the front of the escape pod section and the door is sealed. Not that it matters anyway, because the entire section is missing and I'm left staring through a hole. It'll probably be the last message I make, and I'm making it on an LMU because my PDA is smashed. I just hope the Heidi's hull... We'll take the impact. <laughs> I'll stick this pad in one of the containers. Ensign Emerson. Okie dokie. What the hell was that? I mean, I'm still taking this stuff. Notice several inconsistencies between the two logs. I'm sh not, however, I'm not sure. Okay. What do you mean, Ida? Titanium. Uh, I've marked the ship's constructor on your display. Please check the production logs. Check the production log, she says. Oh, I got all, I'm just finding all sorts of junk here. Probably all the stuff I would need to uh, make an engine. If this ship is even on. Whoop! Looks like the power's out. Should be able to connect my ship's battery to the constructor console. Sure, that sounds like a really good idea. Less than 1%. <laughs> okay, survival tent. Looks like they made eight tents, which means there's at least eight survivors. The rest of the stuff the constructor made was pretty standard. Supplies, communications, equipment, a motorbike, and a pair of raider kits. I don't know what a raider kit is. Uh, salvage what they could carry and head away from the ship, which makes sense as this would have been likely to draw attention from the enemy. I've already scanned the planet for heat signatures belonging to UCH. There are no other members of UCH Navy anywhere on this planet. However, what I wanted from the logs, aside from the confirmation of survivors, was a frame of reference for the inconsistencies. Okay. 80% certain. The final piece of the puzzle, so to speak, should be found on the ship's bridge. You're telling me there's a live console on the bridge and you didn't have me go there first? <laughs> the console on the bridge is both unshielded and will draw a great deal of power when it's activated. I have two... I identified two unmanned aerial vehicles patrolling near your current position, and activating that console will undoubtedly draw their attention. Okay. Okay, good or ill is the only source of information. Okay, so there's two UAVs are gonna come in if I go hit that thing, which I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do anyway. Yeah, it's on, but there's no range weaponly. Oh, does this have a... Is the core still over here? I didn't see it. Vanilla, the core's back here, and it's admin core. Uh... No, I don't see it back here. Aerodrone appears to have a weak point. It's a glowing optical sensor. A scoped rifle or heavy weapon, such as a rocket launcher, would deal with it. Okay, so the core's not back there. Is it... 
let's see. Did I bring it? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? Salvage. No. Got some rotten food. Do I have any... Yeah. Let's make... Let's make... Let's make. All right. Uh, let's see. What's in this box right here? I already got this box. So let's climb around. Aw. I can't crouch because... Reasons. <laughs> ah. Ah. What's happening? <laughs> What's that? Is that a cookie? Nice. I will eat the cookie. I like... Well. It might be copyrighted. Alright, where else can I go? Um, here's a hole. Found the PD or the I uh, found the console. Uh, uh, let's see. What's happening? Oh, I gotta activate it, but I can't activate it unless I get up there. Oh, yeah, here we go. What's in here? The grow plots and stuff. There we go. All right. Let's see. Retrieving logs. No? Greetings, Commander Zaystars. There is one unread message for you. Let's see... What's a .lex file? Heidelberg is lost. We've been lucky these past few weeks, but patrols have been closing in once the forest fires caused the wreckage died down. We can't see her any longer, and Ensign Emerson won't, most, won't, Ensign Emerson won't last much longer with her injuries. We'll be leaving at first light in the morning, so I'm leaving this message for anyone who finds the ship along with a copy of the related data. UCH Expeditionary Fleet was pulled off course after initiating a long-range jump using the MS Titan's advanced warp drive to jump to Proxima Centauri. Pulled into a fissure like a spreading crack through the fabric of hyperspace that dragged the fleet over two and a half million light years to the middle of the Andromeda Galaxy and into the waiting arms of the Xerax War Fleet. Several of our ships crashed on this planet after sustaining damage, and we've successfully made contact with several other groups of survivors, and we'll be heading to the neutral station on the far side of the planet, where we've organized transportation off-world from one of the local factions. We've managed to compile a translation key built for their language, Andromeda Trade Standard, that's attached to this message. Make sure you copy it to your suit's hard drive. We were also able to compile a partial translation key for our attacker's language, Xerax standard, but so far they have refused any attempts at contact. It's recommended that you do not engage their armed patrols and avoid the airspace around their installations. We've already lost a hover bike over in an old debris field while well, scouting to a random drone patrol, which was the last straw for us. So we're bugging out. They have their own issues with the Xerax, so it looks like we found a common goal that'll let us get back to the rest of our fleet. Whoever you are, please be safe. And come find us. We need everyone. Lieutenant Rumley, acting captain. Analyzing the flight path of the patrolling drone, I would like to inform you that it's just changed course and is heading in your direction. Now. Well. Let's blong the blonger blanger blonger. Uh, it's a minigun aerodrome. I mean, is it even going to bother me? Ooh, what's this? Oh, I was hoping there'd be something cool in there. Well, not really a whole lot of cool stuff here. Although there's the damaged hover bike. Not a lot of booty, just a little bit of booty. What's my range on this thing? 130 meters. Is he actually going to come over here? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. Take it. Why'd my blonger blong go away? Come on, baby! Come on! He's stuck. Eh, 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 eh. 
All right. Nice. All right, let's head back to that damaged hover vessel. He said two. Only one showed up. There's a neutral station where people used to get off world. Regroup with the rest of the fleet. However, once you're able to verify the inconsistencies between the physical evidence and the logs I find about Hederberg's crew members, which will complicate matters. So, yeah, that's a little weird that 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 chick was stuck in a box. 97% accuracy at 311 days have passed. 311 days. How could almost a year have passed, Ida? I don't know, Commander. Reasons and things and stuff. <laughs> Cryosleep? I wasn't asleep. I wasn't asleep. Remember everything upon Apollo Station, but that's it. I don't see anything over there that I might need. What's in there? Oh, there's all sorts of crap in there. There's Neo and Copper. There's some more silicon. Man, there's so much crap here. Oh! What can I drop? I can eat that. And I don't really need sadium plates right now. What? These are useless right now. Alright. At least now we have somewhere to start our search. Yes, we do. Forest of Stars. After recovering the wreckage of the Heidelberg and the fate of his crew, you set off. The survivors follow a trail gone cold almost a year to a neutral station they used to get off-world. Ida has identified a populated structure not far. Could this be... Oh! What just happened? That was weird. Don't teleport me, game. Oh, anything you can tell me at this place? I hate going in blind. Let's see. Does it have a core? Yeah. Structure appears to be made primarily of wood and stone composites consisting of living quarters, agriculture facilities, or several patrolling groups in the edge of the defined territory and evidence of recent drone activity. Drones do not appear to be affiliated with the structures below as they are making periodic communications filled near the polar region. Making it more likely that they will be sympathetic to our plight. Cool. Got some stuff. Get rid of some of this out of my inventory. Alright. Uh, this thing only has the one cargo box. Yes. Yes. And let's apply some liquid refreshment to this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a hover vessel. It's not beautiful. But it'll do. Oh, man. It wiggles a lot. Okay, this'll get us back. So, I didn't see a core here. I don't know. But it might be worth coming back and looking for it. Because this thing has a lot of good bits. And if it's not an admin core, or even if it is one, if it's one that I can, that I can take over... Um, then it'll be a lot of good stuff. Like, there's those thrusters on there, that large constructor, which I don't really need, but I can take it apart for the bits. Ooh. So I am going to take this thing and head back to base. And then, um... Oops. Kind of go through everything that we got. Get back, hope, turn the fridge on, hopefully before... That's right, before everything goes bad in the fridge. Because I'm a dummy and I shut my fridge off and then uh, we'll probably head over to the village and see see what that's all about just keep the story kind of moving along okay looks like I lost a couple of things it looks like I lost all of the meat I just had it just it all went bad 
meat that I just cooked up, which is kind of a pain. I got all kinds of weird crap. That's the extra sniper rifle. Okay. Okay, so I've got 30 iron ore. Uh, that looks like all the iron I've got. Alright, I think I'm gonna... Well... So, these little green thrusters suck. Like, all the sucking. I'm gonna put these two new solar panels out, and then we'll drive this thing over... to that village, just picking up this and that on the way. Okay, here's the Talon village. The Stilt village. Oh, this isn't the village, though. The village with big capital V. This can't be the right place. These people are living in primitive housing. It seems you're right, Commander. Nothing, let's see, describes Hybrid's log should be investigated for potential information. Let's see, yep. This is the Talon. Oh, it would be best to approach in the times between regular drone patrols, Commander. If they cannot help us, it would cause unnecessary problems if we found the... Oh. Alright, let's put the gun away. What's up, Talon dudes? Uh... I don't suppose you speak trade standard. Uh, zero. Okay. What the hell's going on here? Oh, Chief points to a tapestry depicting a pyramid-like tower being struck by lightning. Things and stuff. Village and turns around. Did you get any of that, Ida? The best I've got is the Chief wants us to go to some tower somewhere. I've recorded the conversation and identified the structure he indicated. It's quite far from your current location is emitting low electromagnetic signatures. Huh. Uh, it teleported me again. Uh-huh. Cool. Um... Could be a trap. The camera's on your suit. I was able to observe other tribesmen while you spoke with the chief, and most of the people in the village showed no aggression towards you. This is way different than the one in the vanilla... Most, but not all. Should I be worried? Oh, okay, is the young... The young are nervous about me? And angry youths always cause trouble. Yeah! Yeah. Well, there's an ancient tower way in the hell over there. I guess we can go check it out. Oh man, there's so much good stuff around here, but... My suit's getting kind of full. Ancient tower. Electromagnetics. Whoops. Uh-huh. Some kind of entrance at the top of the tower. Oh, there's a golem. Swamp Giga. Ooh. Got anything useful? What is with these roots? Bunch of wood, some rock. I can get rid of the rock for now. Okay. Uh, sure. Hey, it's a blast door. Huh. How could they be made by the same people? They're so technologically different. Surmise that the Xerox presence here is the cause of their apparent regression. Whoops. Uh-oh. Hmm. Devices to be some kind of holographic terminal may contain answers. There's no power. Detecting live energy conduit running behind that wall. That wall? It's not very specific. There we are. Okay. Words. Base 8 numerical system rather than base 10, so it may take some time to adjust the system's layout. I mean, they count in divisions of 8 instead of 10, like us.
Okay, translation key completed momentarily and transfer the files to your suit system. Please approach the blue console to confirm it is a translating the language correctly. Oh, here we go. In the year, yeah, the noble Talon have regained the power of spaceflight and finally returned to the stars. Encountered our first adversary in the form of the Trade Federation, an economic power spanning thousands of systems without formal military. They found opposition with our enlightened system of equality and saw our people as both a threat and a resource. With no military force of my own, we turn to an honorable we turn to an honorable warrior race, great in number, in military prowess but lacking interstellar travel, and uplifted them to be our allies and protectors against the economic might of the Trade Federation. With their military and tactical superiority, the Federation's aggression was halted. Seeing no way for a profitable outcome for them, the Federation entered negotiations with our Talon Xerox Assembly to construct a system of codependent commerce between our people, giving up their right to military forces in exchange for our allies' protection from external sources. And so, the Trade Guild and Talon Assembly were formed. Huh. Historical record. In the dating system, I believe this would be some 2,000 years ago, and documents roughly 1,500 years of the Talon Xerox Assembly, over 800 pages. Kissing their more recent history must be on the consoles. Red console is next. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Porting translation to the HUD and output. Slowly the silence spread across the galaxy, engulfing everything it touched. No warnings, no transmissions, no survivors. Gone were the days of peace for the assembly. War was upon us and bound us together burned bright as the fires of war were waged upon the ancient evils of the past. Our past. Our legacy. The ancient enemy we thought we left behind, bound to a dying galaxy and no way to travel a gulf of emptiness between the origin and destination. Naive were we for... N-A-I-I-V-E. For a while, we were bound by lifetimes and memory. They were not. They took the long journey across the expanse with no thought of risk, only the cost of time the journey would take. To emerge here and now, when we were once again at peace, to take from all us that we have built again, to fight as our only choice, but time and distance serve to do only strengthen the ancient enemy. Hmm. Whatever this enemy was, it was strong enough to topple a formidable alliance that had ruled the galaxy for a millennium. Legacy, elsewhere in the database. Thousands of references. Hmm. They can't have been that effective since this happened, what, 400 years ago, and the Xerox are still here. There's no need to know about a dead enemy that we'll never run into. However, the Legacy were not completely destroyed, merely rendered dormant through the science and ingenuity of the Talon of the Xerox. But nothing that says how the Talon ended up as this. No, Commander. I'm not sure... That it would be recorded here, as such an operation would have been surgical, leaving no one to update the records. Hmm. There may be more information regarding this in the Green Console. You can always come back and read about the legacy later if it interests you. Okay. Wait a second, this console only seems to have a database of Talon-controlled planets, foods, dances, and other culture-related stuff. Well, that's probably what the Chief wanted me to read. It's no use to us. Yes, this console appears to contain information about the Talon as a people. Personally, I find it fascinating, Commander. Can you enable the upload connection? Okay. Fine. <laughs> that's the most... Ex that is the most expre... Damn it. One of the parameters is to investigate and document first contact. I am predisposed to fascination of alien creatures. Sure. Why not? Those big-ass spiders up <laughs> Of course, Commander. If you would like to know more about the creatures we encountered, you can view the ecological database near PDA. Sorry to dis interrupt, Commander, but I've detected heat signatures. How many hostiles are we talking? Three. Two appearing to... One at the top of the tower to prevent your escape, and two preparing to breach. What? Preparing to breach? Breach what? Get away from the red console. Well, come on then. There we go. Are those Xerax? Xeraxian scum! 
That's two. There he is. What's up, buddy? The transport that dropped them off is returning to base. Sweet. Too short a time for them to gotten as close as they did. Back to the Talon Village. And heading back to the Talon Village. Let's see. The one way the Jerks would have beaten us here was someone told them we were coming. I have a feeling the Talon are not as peaceful as they claimed. Oh, really? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the return to the Talon Chief is going to be the stuff of next episode. I hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen today. I'm intrigued by this new storyline. Very curious where it's going to go, and I'm super excited to push through this. So we're going to go ahead and hit pause here on the video, or not the video, but the episode, and uh, ask you very kindly to send a like and subscribe my way if you enjoyed the content. And I would really like you to uh, leave a comment. Let me hear what you think, thoughts, and uh, maybe directions I should take this. If maybe you've played it before and you have a you have a cool tip, or maybe you know you're just thinking, hey, what about that other thing that he missed? So as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day.